What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here. Uh, I just went to go see the movie Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. It starred Eddie Redmayne, Johnny Depp, Zoe Kravitz, Ezra Miller, Jude Law, and Dan Fogler. And the director was David Yates. So this is the second movie of the Fantastic Beasts series, set in J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World, featuring the adventures of Newt Scamander. All right, guys, so I saw this movie, and it was okay. Um, it was all right. It wasn't the best one. Between the first one and this one, I think I liked the first one first. A lot of people didn't like the first one. This one had a lot, and I mean a lot, of mixed reviews. Some people liked it. Some people didn't like it. So this is what I think about it. Um, I would say the characters were good. The CGI, the special effects, the visual effects, including, was excellent. Um, it all went into the, you know, the Wizarding World theme and the wands and the magic and this and that. But I would probably say there were so many storylines in this movie. It was it was like going back and forth. I mean, first you have Newt Scamander, his storyline. Then you have some love uh, stories and, and their storylines. Um, then you have the Credence storyline. Then you have the Grindelwald storyline, the Dumbledore storyline. It, it, it was all over the place. It was all... You really had to play, pay close attention to really understand this movie and what was taking place. And honestly, I think this movie, instead of being called The Crimes of Grindelwald, I think it been, should have been uh, named The Backstory or The Family Tree of Credence or The Family Tree of the Lestrange Family, something like that. Because a little bit of spoiler, that was mostly what this movie was about. I mean, yeah, we all knew, we all know that Grindelwald is a bad guy. Um, he's done crimes, you know, and stuff like that. But it really didn't really focus into his character per se. I mean, there were bits and pieces of it in the movie, but it wasn't really about him. This is more about Credence. And you'll understand why if you see this movie, because I really don't want to give away too many spoilers. And really, that's about it. That's all I really have to say about this movie. I mean, if you've seen the first one, and if you like the first one, see this movie. If you didn't like this, the first one, it's up to you if you want to see this movie or not. Um, but if you, and like I said, I think in my other movie review from the first Fantastic Beasts, this is a film of five. I think there's five films. So if you want to watch it all, you're going to have to watch this movie to understand the rest of it. And now it's time for fun facts. Uh, J.K. Rowling has confirmed that Newt Scamander is still going to be the main character in the following movies. Hogwarts exteriors, like some interiors, were filmed in the ancestral Leacock Abbey located in Wiltshire, England, which has been used for the same purpose for the first films of the Harry Potter saga. When Nikolai Flamel opened his locker... He's the old guy, the 200-year-old guy. The Philosopher's Stone, or the Sorcerer's Stone, could be seen in a corner. And we, as we all know, the Sorcerer's Stone is from the first or second Harry Potter movies. Also, Johnny Depp, who is a massive fan, wanted to be part of the series and signed on even uh, without even reading the script at first. A set of puppeteers allowed the actors and technicians to physically take place, take the place of the animals and which were then finalized in post-production thanks to the visual effects. The puppets were of different sizes and materials depending on the beast. An example is small bags of marbles were used to double the Niffler and his babies. And also the enormous Zuwu required no less than three puppeteers, one manipulating his large sculpted head while the others moved his body and tail, 
nearly three meters long that they swayed at the end of a pole. And finally, J.K. Rowling has confirmed that the story or of this that the story arc, excuse me, of the series will span 19 years leading up to the epic battle of Dumbledore and Grindelwald in 1945. And this movie does take place in 1927. So just to give you an example there. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this movie review. Uh, smash that like button. Uh, support. Share if you want to. Um, and as always, and you can also find me on Instagram, too, of my pictures and the adventures I go on. So, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. And as my friend Tampa J says at the end of his videos, much ahead, my friends, much ahead.